most of the time. But in Las Vegas, they try to come up with new comps all the time to bring back their VIP players. Well, MGM Grand came up with the first IMAX indoor theater there in Las Vegas. But the guy that installed it was a bit demented, the guy that plans the movies. It's also a 3D IMAX theater screen. When you open up your eyes, people, on that IMAX 3D theater screen in front of you, is going to be one of the spiciest movies you've ever seen in your entire life. I mean, it's going to be something else. You're not going to believe it. Don't touch yourselves. You're going to see things happening in this dream you're not going to be able to believe. One, two, three. Open up your eyes, everyone, and... Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, you talk about some strange shit going on here. Oh, this is something else. I, oh, my. I can't believe it. I can't... And you seem to recognize someone. You seem to recognize someone. Yes, I don't believe it. It's your parents! I shut it off, thank God. I shut it off and you sit back up. Try to regain your composure. Oh my gosh. But this is bad. Open up your eyes wide. You're going to have to see them probably at Thanksgiving or before. What are you going to tell them? Probably you never go and eat that table again. When they're going to step the turkey and all that shit. Yeah. What are you going to tell your parents the next time you see them? Raise your hand, people, if you know what you're going to tell your parents after what you just saw. Raise your hand. What are you going to tell your folks? What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're doing. I'm here at school. You're doing that shit? That's not right. That's, nasty. That's just nasty. What are you going to tell yours? Get a better room. <laughs> I think they were in a bed of some kind. What are you going to tell yours, sir? Don't be silly. You're up your willy. <laughs> Say that one more time. Don't be silly. You're up your willy. Yes. <laughs> don't be silly. You're up your willy, Dad. Anybody else? Are they going to tell their folks after that? Where are you going to yours? How much you can pay? Yes! Hope it's enough to pay for my college tuition. Where are you going to tell yours? What's the app? Absolutely. <laughs> it's told you never to do that. Look at their author doing it. Where are you going to tell yours, sir? I thought you hadn't had sex for 13 years. <laughs> that, that, again. that was in Vegas. She usually stays in Vegas until this particular trip. <laughs> Right, people, open up your eyes, look up to the right. Ashton Kutchner, you've been punked. It's not your parents at all. You've been punked. Thank God it's not your parents at all. Yes, it's not your parents at all. Thank God, Ashton Kutchner, you bad boy. Yes, very, very bad. Yeah. Everyone, sit back up again. Feet flat on the floor again. Palms your knees again. Watch my finger. Follow my finger through eyes as it goes back and forth. Back and forth. And now follow it through your head as it goes back and forth. And now put your finger on front of you just like I have my finger on front of me. Can you do that? And now watch only your finger. Focus only on your finger. Something is growing on your finger. Something's growing on your finger. It's ugly and it's alive. Don't shake it and hit that. Don't touch it. It could be poisonous. Oh yeah. Listen. Hold it straight out to me. Hold it straight out to me. Don't move. Don't move. Put it at me. Put it at me. Put it at me. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you move your face, it could attack you seven seconds, you're gone. So, when I tell you to, move just some part of your face. Your nose, your eyes, your cheeks, your chin, your tongue. When I tell you to, move just some part of your face. Then when I think you have it distracted, I have you move the other hand and knock it off. Go ahead, move some part of your face. Go ahead. Move it a little bit faster. I said, move it a little bit faster. You're just about there. Okay. Knock it off! Knock it off! Okay, hold your finger out. Let me make sure you're safe. Hold it out straight out. Yes. Good. 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 Don't move. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. You don't move. Easy. Easy. And. Sir, step on it. Get it, man. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. That's good, sir. This guy's a hero, people. This guy's a hero right here. This guy's a hero. I'm going to hold your finger back on front of you one more time. Open up your eyes wide. Whatever that thing was, give your finger a magical power. 
Yes! A mystical power. That finger can grant you one wish, one hope, one thought, one dream. Once you hold on that wish, that hope, that thought, that dream is, hold that finger, push your mouth, and tell your finger what you want. Tell your finger what you want. Tell it good. Yes. Once you told your finger what you want, put your finger right back out of mine. When I drop my finger, your fingers will drop, your eyes will go closed, but this time your head will just go slightly forward. And relax. Come on, people, make some noise. They're working hard for us up here tonight. Woo! Ladies, we're going to like this next thing a lot, and I think the guys will too. Gentlemen on stage, on the count of three, gentlemen, don't be bragged, you're still going to be gentlemen. But you're going to realize that you're six months pregnant. Oh, Guys, you're going to be six months pregnant. You're look down and utter disbelief <laughs> at what's going on. Just a gentleman on the count of three. One, two, three. Open up your eyes, guys. Stay seated, but look at this. You're six months pregnant. Oh, my God. You're not going to go and tell your parents or your girlfriend or your wife or your significant other what happened, guys. You better come up with some creative excuse on what you're going to tell the folks at home. You want something a little bit creative on what you're going to tell them because you're six months along. What are you going to tell your folks, sir? It was an alien. Alien, yes. <laughs> alien death from Roswell, New Mexico, 1941. It happened to quite a few people in the desert. What are you going to tell yours? I wish I knew what to say. Yes. <laughs> All right. What are you going to tell your folks, sir? It's a balloon, I swear. Yes. <laughs> a big balloon. What are you going to tell yours, sir? I should have worn a condom. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to tell yours, sir? I've been eating too many cookies. Many cookies, yes. Chocolate chip cookies. What are you going to tell yours? Uh, I'm holding it for a friend. Oh, yes. <laughs> surrogate father? There's nothing wrong with surrogate father. Nothing wrong. <laughs> wow. What are you going to tell your folks? Roofies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What happened, people? Take note of that. On the count of three, guys, it's going to be eight months long. It looks like it's going to begin to kick, and you're going to feel it in a really big way. One, two, three. On the next count of three, it'll be nine months long. I mean, this could hurt really bad. One, two, three, nine months pregnant. Oh, breathe deep, breathe deep, breathe deep, breathe deep, breathe deep. Okay, back in control, back in control. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you this. Don't you think all guys should witness this one time in their lives? What do you think? Make some yes. Noise. Well, it gets better because next comes birth. And birth may be very, very difficult. <laughs>